Whoa. Um, today I wanted to talk about a, <clears throat> a movie I, I saw in theaters uh, 10 years ago. Um, and um, over the years I've really watched it here and there. And it's, uh, it's a very good film. Um, the movie is uh, Prisoners, starring Hugh Jackman, Jake Gyllenhaal, Viola Davis, Maria Bello, <clears throat> Terrence Howard, Melissa Leo, and Paul Dano. Um, this movie, in short, is about uh, uh, two families who, it's, you know, uh, Thanksgiving time, and so they, uh, you know, they come, they go and hang out around uh, Thanksgiving with each other, or spend Thanksgiving uh, uh, with each other, and they, uh, um, then earlier and then before Thanksgiving, they, uh, we see uh, uh, Hugh Jackman's character, uh, Keller Dover, and his son um, are uh, deer hunting, and then they, uh, and his son uh, kills a deer, and then uh, on Thanksgiving they bring deer meat to the. Uh, uh, Birch family home with uh, Nancy and uh, Franklin, Viola Davis and uh, Terrence Howard, and they are all, uh, you know, just enjoying each other's time and uh, company. And um, uh, uh, Keller and Grace's uh, daughter uh, Anna, as well as uh, Franklin and Nancy's daughter uh, Joy, they. Uh, uh, want to go over to uh, uh, their place because uh, you know she's looking for a red whistle, like an emergency whistle, and uh, and they and they don't live that far away from each other, like the neighbors, friends, and so you know they go and you know, the two of them go off and get it without uh, letting their older siblings know, so they could take them with them. Um, and earlier there was a. RV that they were uh, sort of playing on and got off and uh, uh, when later on when it turns out there's uh, they've not returned uh, they go to look, look around the <clears throat> neighborhood and the homes and they go to the where the RV was and of course it's gone um, uh, and yeah, this is a, and then, um, Jake Gyllenhaal plays a detective Loki who, uh, is, you know, of course looking for the two missing girls. And as the film goes on, we find out there, as time has gone on over the years, various kids have disappeared and sort of, uh, similar, uh, mysterious circumstances, um, and um, Alex Jones, who's played by uh, Paul Dano, is uh, the person who seems to be the one who uh, is likely to have uh, kidnapped them because you know he was driving an RV, and uh, the same RV that was there. And so obviously they're going to talk to him. His aunt is. Uh, played by Melissa Leo, and um, uh, throughout the movie, uh, go back and forth and talking to uh, uh, Alex and his aunt, as well as, uh, you know, Keller has sort of an obsession of, you know, like he, like he knows that Alex had something to do with it, and, um, and even when uh, he confronts uh, Alex at a, a police station when he's being released um you know he, Alex tells him that they only cry when they left so it seems to be like he uh is confirming to him at least that yes he did take their his daughter as well as his friend's daughter um but we don't uh but yeah, it's, it's something that, you know, 
throughout the film we're wondering whether or not um, uh, he is absolutely telling the truth because it does a, he has the IQ of a 10 year old so uh, so on one hand there's that going in Alex's favor for it not being entirely possible for him to have taken two girls with no trace of them if they were in the RV to be in his uh, you know there's no trace of them like that that couldn't really happen if you know he doesn't have the uh, mental capacity to do so uh, do something like that so but on the other hand it's like well yeah it could be an act you know he really did take them um yeah this is a this is a very good film um if you haven't seen this movie you know i don't want to continue because you know i could potentially give this some spoilers and uh, uh even though some of this stuff would kind of happen fairly early on still it's like you know you Uh, like if you haven't seen it, it's like I don't want to po possibly ruin it, but uh, this is an excellent film. Um, Hugh Jackman does a great job. Jake Gyllenhaal does good. Job. Well, the entire cast does a great job, but uh, these two in particular they are fantastic. And uh, this whole movie goes into like this like mystery of seems like a lot of things are connected, but then it's like what 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 do certain things have in common with each other? Like especially with like. Uh, like mazes and stuff like what does that have to do with uh anything and there's also a, a priest in his home there's a dead guy with him at like a like moment down with a sort of like a maze or something and uh yeah, he's been dead for some time and he said uh, he uh killed children and was waging a war against god and uh as the movie goes on you find out what that means and so yeah this is an excellent film it's uh directed by Denis Villeneuve who uh also directed Sicario um as well as Blade Runner uh 2049 and uh, uh the Dune films yeah um You know, of all of his films, I don't know, I think in, in some ways this is his best film, but then I also really like Sicario. Um, you know, uh, so I go back and forth between those two films. Uh, acting is fantastic in this film. Um, it's truly amazing. It's a, just a fantastic film. Um, Mark Wahlberg was an executive producer. Um which you know might not totally mean much sometimes you see people who are uh are big names who are part of uh like producing a film that you know they're not in um you see that a lot, a lot with people like brad pitt or leonardo dicaprio um but sometimes you uh you find out that they uh <clears throat> at one point were going to be in the film so i don't know if he was ever going to be in this film but if mark Wahlberg was going to i think the only character i could really see him possibly playing would be a killer dover's character he's a hugh jackman but i'm really happy that hugh jackman played this part he uh, he did a great job um and uh in the beginning of this film again thanksgiving time which of course considering yesterday this is a fairly in a way a very good uh timing of this video but i've wanted to talk about this for a while now and uh rewatch it so i thought you know that would be as good of a time as any even though this is a pretty dark film um still uh, a pretty good film overall um i enjoy this film um i think it's a very well made film very well written um who wrote this aaron gazowski 
not totally familiar with uh, things that he has written, though I, it's very possible I have seen other stuff he has done. But yeah, this is a very good film. Um, everybody involved did a, did a great job. Acting, of course, stellar. I do think that um, Hugh Jackman and Jake Gyllenhaal should have gotten some award nominations because they were just really good. Um, though it's one of those things where, you know, they were technically both be the lead, but considering how uh, sometimes award ceremonies don't always nominate um, <clears throat> people accordingly like they should um in part it's due to the studios too who are helping to promote the movie like you know they don't want to necessarily have uh, the chance where two people in the same category could possibly cancel each other out so in order to avoid such a thing they will demote somebody for supporting or into supporting, and I think that would probably be Jake Gyllenhaal. He probably would have been <clears throat> demoted to supporting. Um, even though we see a good amount of uh, him throughout the film, and the movie is two and a half hours, um, I think it would be probably... Um, you could definitely say that, yeah, Hugh Jackman has some more screen time than uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, but it wouldn't be by a whole lot. It would be by... Probably like mere minutes um but yeah this is a <clears throat> a really good film um movie that uh doesn't get talked about much even when it came out it got uh, pretty good reviews um i don't recall if it did a whole lot of business at the box office i think it came out in like september or something like that um at least i remember it being around uh, fall time when I saw this in the theater, so, um, yeah, this is a, just a really good film, um, drama, mystery, at times a thriller, and, um, yeah, this is just a, Really cool, and then the uh, special features on here is like the how uh, <clears throat> like when it's like Hugh Jackman and Jake Gyllenhaal I'll explore their tense relationship uh, between their characters in the film, and uh, you know uh, uh, just like a an overall general discussion of uh, with all the actors and actresses and just the cast who again are fantastic. Yeah, this is just a overall really good film. Um, I think this probably would be one of my favorite films of uh, 2013. Um, well, actually it is, but I don't know where I would put it like on top, uh, or like a top 10 list, but it's a really good film. It's a movie that uh, doesn't, again, doesn't get talked about much these days. Um, but, you know, it's 10 years old, and I thought, why not uh, watch this again and perhaps try to uh, see if people who watch my stuff have ever seen this film? And if so, um, what do you think? Do you enjoy it? Um, do you not? Uh, or maybe you're, you know, you might be like a you've seen it you might be like there's like the performances are good maybe the story is pretty good but perhaps the execution might not be perhaps at times it might go overboard with uh uh certain scenes um though i think you know in a lot of ways but those scenes are very important because you know like uh, uh killer dover is a christian and he's a seems to be as devout as possible and there's he makes certain decisions that would be like very, very questionable, though it's also one of those things like where his daughter is missing. He doesn't know uh, where she is and he has an, a, an assumption as to 
who knows where she is, like who took her. And, um, you know, it's one of those things like whether or not, you know, you know, you don't necessarily have to obviously like what he does, but in the context of him being a father and his child is missing, it's like, it's one of those things where you understand where he's coming from, but you don't necessarily condone what he's doing. Um, but you get it, you know, it's one of those, uh, scenarios where it's not so cut and dry. Um, even though it's uh, very easy to say it's wrong, and of course it is, but again, it's like, what would you do in that situation? Like if you believed you knew who had something to do with this, uh, like the uh, disappearance of a, a child of yours and what would the links go? Um, <clears throat> would you, what, what links would you go to try and find them? And, uh, yeah, this, uh, this is a very, uh, uh it's not, uh, so easy to uh, entirely just, uh, just say cut and dry. It's, I mean, it is, it is, but it isn't all at the same time. Of, like, it is wrong, but, you know, it's like, it's wrong, but... If you were in a similar situation, what would you do? Um, and I know I'm being vague, but still, it's like, you know, I, that could potentially be into some spoiler territory. And if you haven't seen this, you know, uh, uh, go watch it. Um, again, it's 10 years old, so you could probably find the Blu-ray or DVD. Uh, probably not all that expensive. Um. I don't know where it would be streaming. Um, this is uh, Warner Brothers. So I guess perhaps like well, HBO Max or Max now. But it might not be there. You never know. Uh, not every movie is streaming. Um, so okay, that's something to remember. But good film. Um, if it sounds interesting from what I sort of described... Though I know I probably didn't do the greatest job without going to more detail. But again, if you haven't seen this, I don't want to really potentially spoil anything. So, uh, yeah. Just uh, try to find this if it sounds interesting. Or you can look it up like on IMDb or whatever. And, uh, yeah. Like, at least the synopsis. So yeah, um, I hope all of you are doing well, hope you're all having a great day, hope you had a great Thanksgiving, hope you have a gr great weekend, and, I'll, uh, and a great next week, <clears throat> I'll see you all next time, take care.